When you export out of the U.S., some of the things with which you must be concerned are restricted parties and restricted end uses. If anyone involved with the shipment is a restricted party, such as a terrorist organization, your shipment must have an export license. And if the intended use is restricted, such as to make a nuclear centrifuge, again, your shipment may require an export license. You may recall from my previous videos the four basic questions for determining the export control requirements of the Department of Commerce. What it is, the export control classification number, where it's going, the destination country, who will receive it, restricted parties, and how it will be used, restricted end uses. If you haven't already done so, you should watch the previous videos on ECCN and destination country, and I will provide links for them in the text below. This video will be on the last two basic questions on restricted parties and restricted end uses. The U.S. government keeps various lists of individuals, organizations, and governments with whom exports and business transactions are restricted. The principal lists are maintained by the U.S. Department of Commerce, Bureau of Industry and Security, the State Department's Bureau of International Security and Nonproliferation and the Directorate of Defense Trade Controls, and the Treasury Department's Office of Foreign Assets Control. It's important to note that some of these can be located inside the U.S., because people or companies that have violated export laws can be temporarily denied export privileges and be on the denied persons list. And in the case of the Treasury Department, this can include money changing hands even if no product is actually shipped. Just like restrictions based on what the item is and where it's going, these restrictions apply to both physical items and technical information. Also, these restrictions apply to items that are not controlled based on what it is or where it's going, as they can even apply to EAR 99 items. So, where can you look for these bad guys? Point your browser to developer.trade.gov. Okay, I'll wait for you to write that down. Got it? Great. When the page opens, click on Consolidated Screening List. And when that page opens, click on Demo Search. On this page, you can enter your search parameters. If you turn Fuzzy Name on, it will search various spellings or misspellings. And down here are your search results. When you click on one of the results, you can verify whether it's a true match or just a coincidental same name. This is exactly the type of human verification you must do to eliminate any false positives. But better false positives than false negatives, right? If this is a true match, however, you are not allowed to proceed with the shipment or transaction without an export license from the government agency that maintains that list. Here we can see that this is on the denied persons list of the Commerce Department's Bureau of Industry and Security, and more information on this party can be found by clicking on these links. Interestingly, we can see that this individual is currently in jail. One of the drawbacks of this method is that it does not save a record of your search unless you copy screenshots. However, there are various third-party providers that have systems that will keep records of your searches. Just search for Restricted Party Screening in your favorite search engine. Furthermore, if you have a lot of searches to do every day, many of these providers can automate this process within your own systems. Finally, we get to Restricted End Uses. Items or technology may be restricted based on how they will be used, such as certain nuclear activities, missiles, rockets, unmanned air vehicles, and space launch vehicles, the manufacture or stockpile of chemical or biological weapons, maritime nuclear propulsion, and certain microprocessors for a military end use. There are too many variables to go into these very deeply, so I will just refer you to the Export Administration Regulations, 15 CFR Part 744.